All right, what's up everybody, it's Coach Graham. Today we're talking about why shoes matter for athletes, all right? And now this is important because I've got an example of a cleat, so a competition shoe, and then let's say a you know, running shoe or training shoe, something like that, right? And the issue is a lot of people train in shoes like this. You got your Nike Roches, your Addy Boost, uh, all of those shoes with a really thick kind of cushiony bottom. And then you go and switch over to your training and your sprinting and your competition in something that's pretty flat and has a stiff bottom and doesn't have a lot of padding. Now, if you think about punching somebody, not that you should, when you punch someone, if you punch with just your fist, it transfers force a lot more quickly than if you have a big mitt, like a big glove, or if you put a big pillow around your hand, right? It's the same thing with your shoes. When you're hitting the ground on a sprint or a jump, you want to hit the ground and push force through the ground and then have it go straight back up, just like you would on a race car or a, let's say a sports car, which has a very stiff shock, so it absorbs it doesn't absorb a lot of the force. It's not bouncy like an off-road vehicle. It's stiff and you can maintain traction and control. Now the issue is, if you're training in shoes like this, these big cushions on the bottom are like padding, right? So you hit the ground and it bounces and it spreads out the force versus something that's quick and explosive. So if you look at another type of shoe, the uh, track spike, or people that run in the Olympics that do 100% effort and speed, they've got the lightest shoe that's possible to hit the ground and push back up. So it's basically nothing under your foot, so you can keep a stiff ankle, drive through the ground and push back up. Now the reason it matters is because if you're training and running around and trying to jump, this is like having a big pillow strapped around your foot. It's spreading out the force, it's slowing down the time between your ground contact and pushing back up. And if you're trying to be fast, if you're trying to be explosive on a sprint, or if your competition happens in a shoe that's stiff and doesn't have a lot of padding, having the difference here is gonna be the training, all the volume you get is not gonna be transmit well to competition. So the shoes you want, you wanna have at least some level of consistency between the two, your training shoe and your competition shoe. So if you're an athlete, the shoes you wear matter. The four things I always recommend for shoes are flat on the bottom, wide at the toe box, flexible, and then a thinner sole. Now these aren't great ideal shoes for that, but I can, uh, I'll put a link below with a great example of some better running shoes or training shoes. But keep in mind, just because a shoe looks good or it's popular does not mean it's good for you as a training tool for an athlete, right? Take care. If you got value from this, share it with someone, subscribe to the channel. I will talk to you soon.